Now look at all this forage growth and all without fertilizer. Now, and on top of that, we're in stage two drought and here in South Central Missouri and later part of July, we're a little bit past the peak for quality on this grass. A couple weeks ago would have been an ideal time to hay it or really graze it. And I'm six and a half foot tall. So to give you kind of an idea of the height of this grass, so let's talk about that need for fertilizer a little bit. Switchgrass has the ability to take nitrogen from the air and use it for its own growth, atmospheric nitrogen. This here is a field of eastern gamma grass. It's another one that can use atmospheric nitrogen for its own growth. This is big blue stem. The roots on these plants will probably be six, seven foot deep down here. Most of your fertilizer can't get down below those roots, even in the winter time when it starts to leach out through the soil, it can't get down there. So that's why we don't need to really add any fertilizer. Uh, not only is that better for wildlife above ground that we see, but also the microbes below ground we don't see and creating that nutrient cycling uh, that we've talked about in a lot of our other videos. That is really as good as it gets whenever you get that mix functioning together. So this is just three of the warm season grasses and we've got a whole variety of other species and cultivars within those species. So check out our website to get a more complete detailed list.